What's up everybody? Been a little bit, but I figured now is a good time to come on here um, after last night. And my team, the Yankees, have won the American League pennant. Um, I'll just real quick before I get into the cards, I will say that was an incredible series. Every game was close, um, seemingly coming down to the wire. Uh, it was just, it was insane. And uh, literally, I was saying to some, some buddies in a chat last night, it took years off my life watching that series. Um, but incredible. Uh, the Soto home run last night obviously takes the cake. But, you know, let's just talk about Giancarlo Stanton seemingly coming through almost, I felt like it was every night, every game with a big home run, whether tying it, putting them ahead. Um so I'm pretty stoked right now, kind of on cloud nine. Obviously, still got four more to win here for the ultimate goal of a 28th championship. But, hey, I'm pumped. Can't wait. Um, either way, whoever wins the NL pennant, it'll be a great World Series. It'll either be a Subway Series or a matchup of two uh, old-school classic teams here. So can't wait. Um, and then, you know, obviously, Otani's in there if it's on the if the Dodgers make it so that'll be something it's just going to be exciting can't wait but uh yeah man I I don't know I I was talking to uh Ed Wesker Griff last night in the in the chat that we have and uh shout out to him because he he called it before Soto even hit the home run he said Soto's gonna hit a bomb and uh sure enough you know he was just he was all over Hunter Gaddis and uh that was it so it almost feels surreal talking about this because, uh, yeah, man, it was just, it was, it was crazy, crazy, uh, series for sure. Anyway, um, oh yeah, sorry. I just kind of got sidetracked there, but it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, you know, I've thought about coming on here and explaining in great detail why it's been a little while, but I kind of just go high level with it right now. And I think I, I don't, you know, I, I don't feel like I owe anyone an explanation. I just want to tell you guys, you know, so you could be like, oh, yeah, I was wondering where you were, man. Um, I feel like ever since I got back from the National, I think that's like one of the last times I did a video, life has just been extremely, extremely busy. Kids have gone back to school. Um, and then again, with not getting into too much detail, I've had to kind of start to transition my mom into uh, long-term care. And it's what that means for people who aren't familiar it's just uh, she was living on her own in her own apartment, and she just no longer can do it. So she's basically, I don't want to say, well, yeah, basically going, quote unquote, into a nursing home. So uh, it's been a lot, and it's been a lot for me to, you know, get her approved for all that stuff. And then it's a matter of also cleaning out her apartment and managing managing her expectations on a daily basis with what she needs so it's just been a lot and I just have not had time to sit down and do a video and not to mention my basement is kind of like you know destroyed at this point because they had to finally put in that drain I was telling you guys about and uh it's just been a lot there's just been a lot going on the summer kind of flew by and then all of a sudden before you know it it's mid-October and here we are so but I'll try to get videos out more and more um, and as they come in now that things are kind of settling down um, but anyway I have a lot of stuff to show you guys this is basically everything that I've picked up since the national so I've kind of gone through it and taken it out of all the you know the crappy cases they were in and put them in either regular top loaders or they're just in soft sleeves or they're in card savers to be sent off for grading at some point. So let's just get into this pile. I think the reason I have this separate is because it's the Topps Chrome Special for SGC that I still have to get out. So we'll get into this. Here's a Glaber Torres. Speaking of guys who was just, I mean, you know, he's going to get, I don't want to say overlooked, but, you know, compared to like Soto, Stanton and stuff, I mean, he was, he was a cog, you know, uh, of this, I mean, leading off and, getting on base seemingly almost every game. So shout out to Glaber. He had a great series and has really had a great um, last few months, to be honest with you. Um, he's turned it back on. So anyway, that's out of 50. That's a gold wave refractor. Uh, here's a Juan Soto, just uh, regular refractor. Nice Stanton uh, sepia. like that a lot. One from... Uh, 
one from Platinum Anniversary at a 199. It's like the blue diamond. Really nice. Uh, here's a Stanton Gold one. That's cool. Out of 50. I think this is like the Magenta Speckle or whatnot. This one's out of 350. Yeah, 350. And then this one's super nice. This is the one out of 10. The Black Refractor. So that's cool. It's definitely off-centered, but, you know, still cool to get that slabbed up for a cheaper price since it's Topps Chrome and they're running that special. They're also doing a uh, Topps Now special, which I'll have to look at. I think this is just, because I had put it in a pile, these just came in too, but I think it's just five copies of this card, but it's the, uh, you know, becomes first player, first 50-50 player in history. So yes, this is just five of them. I just wanted some extras to have because that's a very cool moment in time there. So some tops now, Otani's, and then let's get into a couple of these. Some of these are graded here. Let's just stack back together because I had purchased one raw, which looks decent, and then this one I purchased as an actually I want it as an in an auction as a nine. But that's just the player variation from 2021 Chrome. So cool. A couple cool judges. Now, Judge has had a couple home runs in the postseason, but he's just, uh, he hasn't been consistent and uh, striking out a lot. You know, but that's what, you know, Judge, Stanton do. But Stanton at least has been getting other hits, if that makes sense. Obviously, if you watched the game, you would, you would know what, how, what I'm talking about. Um, this one was another auction win that I thought was really cheap. It's the Independence Day from this year, and it's a graded SGC 10 out of 76, so I had to grab that one. And then this was another auction that I just felt was really cheap. It's the SSP from 2022 Tops of Jeter, and it's a mint nine. And if you look at the card first glance, that card looks pretty flawless, so... I mean, you guys have you heard that from every which way on the on YouTube. Obviously, buy the card, not the label. So in this case, that's what I did, and I think that was a worthwhile thing to do since this card looks pretty good. And I don't really care about nines, eights, really any of that. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Uh, let's roll through this. This is kind of like I don't want to say lower end, but it's probably stuff that I've gone through and said I'm probably not going to send it off. Um, I think, oops, yeah, I think this was, these were th a couple throw-ins to something. I think it was maybe to this card, which is 94 Finest Refractor Jimmy Key. Unfortunately, this has got the, the green garbage going on up there, if you can see it. It's really quite evident when it happens, too. See, that's, like, all green, but it's still a cool card. It was cheap. Um, here's a nice Judge. Another, yeah, definitely not in the low end. I mean, this is a variation, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the, is this the uncommon one? Yeah. Another tops now of Jazz Chisholm. There's Dominguez rookie. Uh, the city variation from Platinum Anniversary. This is just a cool stadium club insert of Frank Thomas, the clear. Um, this Independence Day it has to be one of my least favorite ones they made. It just does not do anything really for me. But it was a Stanton, and I had to grab it. <clears throat> Mark McGuire photo variation. I've been picking up some of those uh, photo variation um, cards of, like, the legends and stuff. So here's a Severino Independence Day, you know, for my parallel collection that I do. Another Mark McGuire here. I just love the photos, man. Robin Yao. Here's another Soto uh, Masterpieces from Bowman's Best, Aaron Judge, City Variation, Garrett Cole, and then here's a raw copy of that same card I just showed as an SGC 10 of Stanton. So still, obviously, I, I mean, I was picking up Stanton, been picking up Stanton for a long time now. Um, and with that postseason uh, performance, man, it's just, it's fun to watch. Uh, Bagwell, here's a Vlad Guerrero. So again, all these photo variations um, or SPs that are in the sets, I just like to pick up. Garrett Cole, Prism Refractor. 
I think this was a throw-in. That's why there's two. I had purchased one, and then somebody just threw in a top snap of Chisholm, so that's cool. Uh, another throw-in here, like the Ray Wave Refractor, Joey Gallo. Uh, Tanaka, I believe that is a photo, photo, photo variation. A random Bobby Witt Jr. <laughs> rookie debut. Um, I must have just purchased that, or maybe it was a cheap auction or something. This is the common, yeah, so the common and uncommon from Finest. Giancarlo Stanton, Topps Chrome Black. Here's another Soto. Canseco 87, but this is like the, uh, uh, I don't remember really what these are, what they're called. Opening day, maybe these are like opening day, kind of like opening day. I forget. Soto, uh, Ellsbury, um, Independence Day. Another Soto here. There's another Garrett Cole. Sorry, I'm like kind of far away from the camera, I just realized. Juan Soto Sepia, which actually I need to put that off to the side for the Chrome, chrome stuff. Uh, Mike Trout, Topps Chrome, Cosmic, Andy Pettit, Rookie. Here's a Jeter, 94 Bowman. Trout Refractor from Finest, uh, Mark McGuire Photo Variation, Jackie Robinson Photo Variation, Aaron Judge Bowman's Best Refractor, this is a Photo Variation of Tanaka, Rookie, got Nolan Arenado Photo Variation, another McGuire, Cal Ripken Jr., this cool Pujols, Paul Goldschmidt, Eli Manning rookie. This is uh, from Fleer Showcase. It's numbered on the back. Five ninety nine there. I'm sorry. Yeah, five ninety nine. My eyes are deceiving me. Uh, Teixeira from Heritage Chrome. It's like the uh, black refractor. Yeah, there's on the back there. Sixty two. Man, the focus on my phone doesn't seem to be very good right now. And I'm also not where I usually shoot videos. I'm upstairs. Uh, Tops Fire Judge, here's a Rose Gold Refractor of Cole, 75, Garrett Cole, 89. Here's a Tops Now, Soto Judge and Stanton. This one's cool, out of uh, 25, Tops Finest, Orange. Heritage Chrome Black Refractor. God, yeah, it's just not picking it up. 65 on that one. Uh, Shohei. Team Hero, uh, Vlad Guerrero, sorry, Vlad Guerrero, photo variation, Willie Stargell, photo variation, Aaron Judge, tops now, Mini Stanton from Ginter, it's like the black border, and then uh, this was like a team set, I believe, Some, it's something different though, from, it might have been something that was at like a certain store you could only get, so there's another Stanton for the collection. The name exactly escapes me, so I don't know. Uh, Clemente. This is cool. Rivera Refractor from Stadium Club Chrome. This is a Shohei photo variation. And then I picked this up because I thought it was really cheap and very cool looking. It's Plaxico Burris from Spectra um, Autograph. It's numbered on the back, 99. But I just thought it was cool because it just references the... Uh, it says, obviously, the championship signatures, so that's pretty cool. And it just talks about the... Super Bowl winning season with uh, plaque, so I thought that was neat. All right, and then into this bigger stack here, which is all stuff I'm either going to probably send off at some point. I mean, that's the goal. Hold on. Um, yeah, we'll see. So I just usually get them ready to go. And I will take another look at them at some point <clears throat> to determine if they still are worth sending. So let's get right into it. You got the um, Golden Mirror SSP variation here of Stanton. Love that card. He's signing um, Gold Refractor from Bowman Chrome. This is from Chrome Sapphire. It's an orange out of 75, but man, that's a cool card. And this one's out of Tops High Tech. It's out of 10. Cool photo variation here. I love this one. A couple uh, autos here for the Hall of Fame PC. Uh, a 
Hall of Fame autograph PC, which is pretty still, uh, sorry, is still pretty uh, low. I don't have much for it, in other words. Um, but I'm trying to get autographs of all the Hall of Famers, you know, and in different uniforms, I think is cool too. So here's a Burt Blylevin I thought was uh, really nice from Tier 1 in the Angels uniform. And then followed up with a Blylevin in the Twins uniform. So that's pretty cool. Next up, I uh, picked up this Tim Raines in the Chicago White Sox uniform. So I have a few more to get of him. You know, obviously I have to do a little bit more research, find out, you know, if they even have autos in certain teams that they're on. I thought this one was cool. Judge. That's, um, what is it called? The Companion box set, I think. That's the numbering on the back there. Uh, we got a Judge from Sapphire. That's pretty awesome. Another photo variation here. This one's really cool from Topps Chrome. Photo variation as well. Picked up uh, one of his rookies from the, that's the complete set right there, complete set, but that's the complete set rookie. Also very cool. Now this card, um, randomly bought i thought it was like man it's a cool little chunky patch there uh it's numbered out of 25 from tribute and it showed up and i well actually no what happened was i went online into ebay and it said that i had been given a refund for it and i'm like oh that's weird wonder why maybe you know just thought because <clears throat> it'll happen obviously the seller will say Oh, I couldn't, you know, didn't find the card or I don't have it anymore. I thought I did, but I don't. And, you know, I'm fine with that as long as somebody says it. But it actually, it just said refunded. So I'm like, well, that's bizarre. I'm like, I don't understand what happened. But then all of a sudden there was a tracking number had shown up. So I said, okay, fine, whatever. Let it go. Um, and I get this DM on Instagram and it says, you know, you're absolutely not paying for that Stanton. And then it all clicked and I was like, ah, okay, so... It was, uh, and then when obviously it showed up in the mail, confirmed that it was from this person. Uh, it was from, in my opinion, the uh, the king of YouTube, uh, AR Falk seventy seven, and uh, it was from Michael. And I, you know, he had sent me a message and just said, "Hey, you know, you're absolutely not paying for this card. You know, enjoy." And then, you know, without going into too much detail, that's basically what was the the message of that and. You know, I had said back to him, like, dude, you do not have to do that. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, just speaks to the type of individual that he is. And I really appreciate it, Michael. And uh, if you if you watch this, I hope you see this. And uh, thanks again for doing that, man. Again, was not necessary, but I do really appreciate it. So he had sent me this. And uh, very cool card there. So nice patch there for the Stanton collection. Picked up this Juan Soto photo variation, which uh, I've been meaning to do probably since last year at the National in Chicago, uh, 2023. Ed, Ed Wesker Griff had picked one up in a nine, I believe, and uh, I was like, man, I want that card. Had looked at a few raw, just didn't see one that I thought was priced, you know, decently, and then finally one popped up, so I grabbed that. <coughs> I'm kind of run, <coughs> excuse me, guys. <clears throat> I'll kind of run through this a little bit quicker here. So here's a Topps Chrome All Etch, Aaron Judge. Topps Chrome Black Soto. Photo variation of Willie Mays. So like I said, I've been getting into those a lot. I really like those. Uh, Bowman's Best, that's like the Atomic for Judge. Here's a Blue Refractor. Numbered out of 150 there. Topps Chrome Black Judge. Another one, different year. Stadium Club Beam Team Gold. Numbered on the back there out of 50. Um, another cool Topps Chrome photo variation. Kind of started putting them off to the side, realizing that these can all be done, uh, sent to the special for SGC because they're all Topps Chrome. Topps Gold Label Rookie Judge. There's another photo variation. And another one. <laughs> so any of the variations and SPs that I can get for Chrome, I try to do. And then um, Stanton, this is the gold refractor from Finest. 
really cool. Another Judge, uh, Finest Refractor Rookie, Ripken, Photo Variation, Roy Halladay. This is a Shohei Rookie from Diamond Kings. So I have the batting one, I just wanted the, pitcher, the pitching one. Gold Minted Refractor from Stadium Club Chrome of Stanton. Awesome card. Frank Thomas, Photo Variation. Thomas, Gold Minted Refractor. Uh, CPA Refractor of Stanton, numbered on the back, 75. Yogi Berra SP, and another Clemente. Uh, Juan Soto Blue in the Padres uniform there, numbered out of 150. I actually have to check to see if the Stadium Club Chrome count. I don't know if they do. I'll have to check when I go to enter them in. Bowman's Best. That's a, um, like, wave refractor, I guess. I don't remember all the names, guys. I say that all the time. This is another photo variation, SP. Uh, Stadium Club. Soto is a judge. Like, wave refractor, again. Ray Wave, or whatever it's called. Sepia, from 2019. That's the pink... This is like this the uh, true photo from Tops. I thought that was cool of Rodon. It was pitched very well for us in the uh, postseason. And really has had a, not just the postseason, he had a terrific year. Um, opening day rookie card of Judge. Here's another photo variation of Judge. And another from 2020. Thought this one was really cool. Picked this up. Pretty decent price. This is the 2019 Father's Day Blue out of 50. And a Jeter SP from 2021. Probably my least favorite design of tops in the last few years, 2021. Uh, and this is like the last stack of stuff right here, guys. So let's just get into that. Blue Sparkle from Heritage. Really nice. <laughs> this one's This one's funny. Just him in his suit, but that is from Update, and it's, I'm sorry, Series 1, and it's a uh, photo variation as well. I think this is just a cool card. I mean, some people don't like the All-Star Game ones, but, I mean, it's just a cool photo. Like, forget the logo. It's just, look at it. It's awesome. <laughs> um, this is cool from Studio. I think this is like the Platinum Parallel, yeah, at a 10 from Tom Gordon. You can kind of tell on the when you shine it in the light. Jeff Bagwell, photo variation. Thomas, Ichiro, photo variation. Bo Jackson, photo variation. Well, I must have bought a batting rookie card too of Shohei or another one. I don't think I have a different one than that one. Aaron Judge, another SP here. Oop. This one, um, this is another good one. I bought the I bought a PSA nine of this card at the National this year. <clears throat> That's the leaning on the dugout SP rookie. Another Shohei variation here. Garrett Cole like the black vapor. It's out of ten. And then you've got a Judge Blue. There's the numbering on the back right up there, 50, and another photo variation of Judge. So very, very heavy on Judge, Stanton, and all the Yankees that really I've just been collecting forever, um, you know, and uh, it's it's fun to see them where they are right now. Trust me, it may not sound it in my voice, but I couldn't be any more ecstatic right now. I'm also trying to talk as my kids are still sleeping, so I don't want to wake them up, but... <laughs> I uh, I couldn't be more psyched to to see this through and uh, you know hey stay humble though right we still have four games to play or four games to win and uh, it could go in my opinion it could go six or seven games with either of these teams whoever we wind up facing the Yanks will be off for let's see six days because it starts Friday today's Sunday yeah so six days I mean 
it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I don't like waiting around usually. I like to kind of just keep rolling into it. But sometimes those breaks are necessary. Obviously, get guys recovered if anyone's kind of banged up a little bit. But you want to keep that momentum rolling, right? But in in any in any event, uh, I think it'll be a fantastic World Series. Whoever we wind up playing, if it's a Subway Series, it's going to be so much fun. If it's the Dodgers and the Yankees, we get to watch Otani, Mookie, all the guys on the Dodgers, and uh, it should be a great time. So I'm just so happy that they 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 clawed and fought their way to this. I mean, like I said, even though they won four games to one, it felt like every one of those games could have gone in a different direction at any given point in time. And uh, even last night was tough. I mean, that was when they were when they were down two nothing. I think it was in the fifth. I was like, oh man, they got to get something rolling here soon. Or this is going to be bad. So you got to have the faith, hold the faith, and uh, let the guys do what they're what they're meant to do, right? So anyway, uh, it's good to make a video again, and uh, hopefully talk to you guys soon. And hopefully the next time I talk to you, <laughs> we have won our twenty eighth championship. Uh, we'll see, though, right? You know, got to play the games. All right, guys, take it easy.